Welcome to Celestial Chronicles. In today's video, we'll dive deep into an intriguing topic that's been capturing headlines lately, the 25th solar cycle and its potential impact on Earth. We'll explore what the Bible says about solar flares, larger solar flares during the peak of this cycle, and coronal mass ejections CMEs. We'll also address public concerns and clarify some common misconceptions spread by sensational media. Plus, we'll emphasize why it's important to be prepared for possible technological disruptions due to significant solar events. So, let's get started. First, let's understand what the 25th solar cycle is. The sun goes through an approximately 11-year cycle of solar activity, ranging from solar minimum to solar maximum. Right now, we're in solar cycle 25, which began in December 2019. During the peak of this cycle, which is expected around 2025, the sun's activity, including solar flares and CMEs, will be at its highest. Solar flares are sudden eruptions of energy on the solar surface, which can release a vast amount of radiation into space. These flares are often accompanied by coronal mass ejections CMEs, which are huge bubbles of gas threaded with magnetic field lines that are ejected from the sun. When these CMEs reach Earth, they can cause geomagnetic storms that may disrupt satellite operations, communication systems, and even power grids. Now, you might be wondering, what does the Bible say about such celestial events? While the Bible doesn't specifically mention solar flares or CMEs, it does have passages that speak of signs and wonders in the heavens. For instance, in Luke 21 verses 25 to 26, it says, There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. This passage can be interpreted as a reference to various celestial phenomena that can cause fear and confusion among people. While this doesn't directly describe solar flares, it does suggest that significant events in the heavens can have profound effects on the earth and its inhabitants. Similarly, in Revelation 16 verses 8 to 9, it states, The fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and the sun was allowed to scorch people with fire. They were seared by the intense heat and they cursed the name of God, who had control over these plagues, but they refused to repent and glorify him. This imagery could be seen as an extreme representation of solar activity impacting humanity. While it is symbolic, it reminds us of the sun's power and its potential to influence life on Earth. Given these biblical references, it's natural to feel concerned about the increased solar activity predicted for the peak of the 25th solar cycle. However, it's important to separate fact from fiction and not let sensational headlines cause unnecessary panic. Many media outlets love to dramatize scientific predictions to grab attention, but the reality is often less alarming. Yes, larger solar flares and CMEs can have significant effects, especially on our technology-dependent society, but scientists have been studying these phenomena for decades. They monitor the sun's activity closely and work on developing ways to mitigate potential impacts on Earth. One of the most notable impacts of CMEs is on our power grids. A strong geomagnetic storm can induce electric currents in power lines, potentially leading to widespread power outages. This happened in 1989 when a powerful CME caused a blackout in Quebec, Canada, leaving millions without power for hours. To mitigate such risks, power companies now use various protective measures, like installing capacitors and grounding devices that can absorb or redirect excess energy. They also have contingency plans to manage grid stability during solar storms. Another area of concern is satellite operations. Satellites are critical for communication, navigation, and weather forecasting. A powerful solar flare or CME can damage satellite electronics or alter their orbits, leading to disruptions. However, satellite operators also take precautions, such as shutting down non-essential systems or placing satellites in safe modes during predicted solar storms. In aviation, high-altitude flights over polar regions are particularly susceptible to increased radiation during solar storms. Airlines can reroute flights to lower altitudes or different paths to avoid excessive radiation exposure to passengers and crew. While these measures help minimize disruptions, it's still wise for us to be prepared for potential impacts. Here are a few practical steps you can take to stay ready. Stay informed. Keep up with news from reliable sources like NASA or NOAA, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, which provide updates on solar activity and space weather forecasts. Emergency Kit Have an emergency kit ready with essentials like water, food, flashlights, batteries, and a first aid kit. This will help you manage during any power outages. Backup Power 
consider having backup power sources, such as generators or solar chargers, especially if you rely on medical equipment or have critical needs that depend on electricity. Protect electronics, use surge protectors for your electronic devices to guard against power surges caused by geomagnetic storms. Communication plan, have a communication plan in place with your family and loved ones. Know how you will stay in touch if cell phone networks or internet services are disrupted. Now, let's address some misconceptions. One common myth is that solar flares can cause earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. While solar activity can influence the Earth's magnetosphere, there's no scientific evidence linking it to geological events like earthquakes or volcanic activity. These processes are driven by the Earth's internal dynamics, not by solar activity. Another misconception is that a solar flare could destroy Earth. While powerful solar flares can disrupt technology, they don't have the energy to physically destroy our planet. The sun's activity has been a constant part of our solar system's dynamics for billions of years, and life on Earth has persisted through many solar cycles. It's also worth noting that while solar flares emit high levels of radiation, Earth's atmosphere provides substantial protection against this radiation. For most people, the primary concern is the impact on technology rather than direct harm from radiation. As we approach the peak of Solar Cycle 25, let's remember that humanity has faced and overcome challenges posed by solar activity before. Advances in science and technology continue to improve our ability to predict and mitigate these effects. By staying informed and prepared, we can navigate these periods of heightened solar activity with confidence. It's an opportunity to appreciate the intricate relationship between our planet and the sun, and to marvel at the celestial events that remind us of the vastness and power of the universe. In conclusion, while the Bible speaks of signs in the heavens and the power of the sun, these should not be sources of fear. Rather, they are reminders of the awe-inspiring nature of our cosmos. By understanding the science behind solar flares and CMEs, and by taking practical steps to prepare, we can stay resilient in the face of these natural events. Thank you for joining us on Celestial Chronicles. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insights into the wonders of our universe. Stay safe and stay curious.